thanks everyone for coming along today. Uh, we're talking about Hong Kong cinema, and we're going to be covering two particular topics. Um, the first half of today's talk, we'll be looking at the film Sarah. I know we haven't been able to see the film yet, but I'm sure that uh, we'll be able to give you a good introduction to the film, uh, the making of the film, before you actually get to see it later today. The second half of the talk will be about Fresh Wave, and we'll bring up some more guests to talk about the Fresh Wave program, which encourages young filmmakers to make short films. Um, let's start with an introduction to our guests. Uh, joining me here to my right is Herman Yap. Uh, Herman has been a director in Hong Kong cinema since the 1980s. He is incredibly prolific. His uh, film filmography uh, has dozens of pictures in across so many genres. Uh, he is a regular guest at this festival. This is his fifth visit to Far East Film Festival. And joining him is Erica Lee. Erica has long been active in both script writing in Hong Kong, but she's also been active in music. Uh, she has also come to the Far East Film Festival in the past. Uh, Herman and Erica were last here together for the film Hit Man, The Final Fight. Um, also joining us is Sophia, who will help us to translate. Um, I'd like to start with uh, talking about Sarah. Um, the, could you talk about how the project came about? As, as a scriptwriter, as, as a scriptwriter. Uh, the how the project came about. For uh, in the in a scriptwriter's point of view, so it started with a director's calling me. <laughs> oh, you have to write a script. <laughs> and um, uh, and then uh, at, in the first meeting, um, her directly out. He told me about um, the. Uh, a, a, a very brief synopsis of what he's uh, trying to do. And uh, my first impression was, well, it is quite difficult to write because it's not really, a, it's not totally romantic. And uh, I mean, uh, 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 not a romantic, it's, 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 um, it's about many, many social issues. Like, uh, so, um, but, in our fir first meeting, I, I did not um, tell him all my worries. And then later on, I keep on research and research, and I feel like that, um, because one of the issues is about uh, prostitution. And I, uh, after the research, I, uh, I, I see prostitution in a very different kind of way. Uh, it's not only, uh, no, not only of women being uh, victimized as a, uh, as a tool. Uh, I think in, the, in our daily life, each of us has some kind of uh, a prostitution. Sometimes we have to do things that we don't want to and uh, being forced. So I, I take it in, in, in that way. And then, and then for the, maybe the production part of the movie, I leave it to her to explain. And uh, actually, this movie is, uh, started with uh, ch uh, the producer Chairman To, and uh, he uh, gave me a title, just two words, Child Prostitution. But uh, at that time, uh, I know well that uh, uh, Charlene Choi will, be the, uh, lead, will play the lead role in the movie. And then, uh, because of the age of Charlene, and then um, and I, I started to think how to merge uh, the term Child Prostitution and the actress uh, Charlene. And, um, and and I know that uh, according to a uh, new definition of the United Nations, now prostitution or child prostitution is not uh, confined in the conventional sense. And then uh, there's now a new term uh, they call the survival sense. That's not uh, uh, that's, uh, it makes the, the term child prostitution a broader in a broader sense that when uh, when one actually in, including male and male and females. When they train for their survival and then uh, by uh, uh, the, their bodies and uh, uh, with some sex service, and then this falls into the definition of uh, uh, prostitution. And if uh, that one is underage, then it's just uh, child prostitution. And then in that sense, I try to uh, 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 make terms of in a broader sense that in our daily life, 
that uh, uh, for example in uh, I think uh, in uh, in Hong Kong or in every part of the world, there's uh, we know some mistress. So, so in a sense, the mistress also falls into uh, uh, that uh, the, uh, the what the term uh, prostitution includes. And then uh, uh, so uh, for this not so conventional definition, then uh, we developed the uh, the script of uh, 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 Sarah. And then uh, uh, I I try to uh, make out a, a, a very rough storyline, and then uh, Erica uh, put a lot of uh, feminine elements into the uh, movies, and I think it's uh, appropriate because uh, I think uh, this uh, since uh, the uh, the prostitution that involved in the movies is a female, and then uh, I think we uh, uh, the production team need to pay in, uh, enough uh, uh, respect in the uh, gender issues. So I think uh, uh, at this point, Erica has the uh, script a lot. And, uh, and, and in another sense, that uh, uh, most of us uh, know that Shining Choi is kind of idol. Uh, but, uh, I think uh, she did a good job in this uh, movie because it's not easy especially uh, uh, under the uh, morality, the Chinese morality, for uh, her to play uh, such a role in the movie. And uh, uh, broadly speaking, there's no difficulties uh, uh, among uh, our uh, uh, collaboration because uh, actually Shani is very brave and uh, very uh, willing for to play uh, her role and uh, I think she understands uh, uh, the movie and uh, the role that uh, at that time he, uh, she was going to play very well. You mentioned that uh, Chapman Toe actually came to you to almost initiate the, title, the, the film by just giving you the title. Just uh, the two words. Just in, two in Chinese, words. also two words. But what about the topic? The topic then came from you after having just the title. Yes, uh, 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 I wonder whether uh, 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 you have uh, watched uh, another movie of mine that's uh, from the Queen to the Chief Executive. And for that uh, movie, the, uh, the lead uh, uh, protagonist, that's also female, yeah, played by Ai Jing. And after uh, she departed from her family for more than 10 years, and then there's a reunion of uh, uh, this girl uh, with uh, her mother. And her mother asked her, uh, uh, what have you been in the past decade? And then uh, in that movie, uh, Ai Jing uh, uh, have a conversation with her mother. And that uh, line or uh, that uh, that uh, description about uh, uh, what uh, she uh, has been uh, after the departure from uh, her family is just about uh, forty-five seconds of uh, 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 with dialogue in that movie, and then that forty-five seconds of dialogue it became the very basic uh, story outline or synopsis of uh, uh, Sarah, and then. Uh, uh, under that uh, so-called very rough, uh, very broad framework, and then we develop the details of the uh, Sarah script. I find the film is uh, quite hard-hitting in a way uh, for a mainstream film in Hong Kong. Uh, it has a very prominent idol as the lead actress, but it really goes into a lot of social issues that you wouldn't expect in such a mainstream film. At least I would not expect. Um, Obviously, you had producer support right from the start with Chapman Toe. Yeah. Is that normal? Is it difficult for a filmmaker uh, who is working on social issues in film to find support from film companies? Yes, uh, uh, this involves how you pitch a, a story to the investors or producers. And uh, 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 I worked with uh, Chapman in the past for a few movies. But uh, as a relationship of uh, producer and director, it's the first time. So uh, honestly, I didn't have very good understanding about this uh, uh, collaboration at the start. And uh, actually, since the 19, late 1990s, 19, uh, I find myself uh, very uh, concerned about uh, some happenings in Hong Kong. And uh, of course, it's also uh, because of the uh, uh, contemporary context of Hong Kong. And then I uh, try to try my best to make it kind of important uh, uh, issues or, or points of debate or points of uh, concern in my movies. So sometimes uh, I play uh, some tricks. What I mean, some tricks, for example, from the Troublesome Light uh, uh, series. As long as you have a ghost, 
uh, as long as I put a ghost in the story, then it serves the title, a troublesome life. And then uh, uh, for Sarah, uh, actually when uh, we uh, uh, discussed the, the script uh, with Erica, we have been concerned a lot about Hong Kong, especially the present situation of Hong Kong. So uh, the identity of uh, Sarah in the movie is kind of metaphor of the uh, contemporary situation of Hong Kong and also how uh, Hong Kong, uh, uh, actually, actually in Hong Kong movies, often, also, always, since a long time, since the 50s, uh, in Hong Kong movies, often it's always a kind of metaphor in movies that uh, to symbolize Hong Kong. So uh, in Sarah, uh, this, this movie, the, the role Sarah uh, played by Shani Choi, in a sense to, to us, we try to uh, use the, the uh, character or the identity of uh, Sarah to manifest some uh, uh, contemporary situation of uh, Hong Kong. So uh, that's what I've been doing the, uh, more than the past 10 years. Uh, another example is with uh, the investor want to make a gangster movie. As long as I have a gangster movie, I, I guess in the movie, that's a gangster movie. You, you want a, a cop movie, that will be a police in the movie. So that's what I can fulfill the uh, one promise the investor. And uh, in another sense or in another way that I can uh, try to uh, make a movie about what I uh, concern. And, and the question for both uh, you and Erica, um, the film did exceptionally well at the box office uh, this year. It, it made 17 million Hong Kong dollars. Um, to put that into perspective, if a film makes 10 million dollars in Hong Kong, that's already a big deal nowadays. So uh, it, did, it did extremely well. What do you think it was that pulled the audience into the film to, to get it so, uh, so much attention? Uh, actually, it, I mean, the outcome has doubled my expectation. Really, um, really surprised to me. And uh, uh, okay, um, from from what I've read from the critics in Hong Kong, I think maybe it's the buffet of um, ideas. I would say it's a buffet of ideas because everybody seems to can relate or connect to the movie uh, um, for particular parts. Like some women, they they say, oh, you're talking about how women are exploited in a chauvinistic world. And some some women, they have issues with their mother. You know, the, the generation, it's not, it's, it's, it's not a gap. It's, um, it's a, a feud that how they, they um, they're angry of how their parents treat them and how the society treats uh, women and then also um, the freedom of journalism. Um, I'm a journalist. Uh, I'm, I'm a journalist uh, as a student, so I, I also have the sense that uh, the freedom of speech is getting narrower and narrower. And, and also um, lots of issues that people can relate to. So, uh, but uh, for me, I I did not expect very high because as you said, it's not a mainstream movie. But I do think that um, the, um, the breakthrough of Charlie has uh, played a very important uh, point to why people buy tickets and uh, make the real vote. Because I think Hong Kong audience like, like to vote with their movie tickets. And uh, I think uh, one that's the main reason that uh, that draw the audience to uh, go uh, into the theater to watch the film. I think I I did I edited a, a very good a trailer, <laughs> perhaps better than the movie because <laughs> because that trailer uh, really aroused the interest. Yes, and it's very controversial. And then before the public release of the movie, that uh, because of the trailer, it becomes a hot topic of debate or. Uh, gossip talking uh, among the general public in Hong Kong. So I think this contributes to uh, the, the success of uh, uh, Sarah in Hong Kong. Wait, uh, yes. The, the uh, trailer itself uh, gained 4 million views. <laughs> and uh, you know from uh, YouTube, uh, 
YouTube has to actually pay you to the uh, the trailer, the, the movie company before it, it's show. It was shown because it's gained so much popularity on yes. YouTube. So I think probably it's, it has uh, it is a record for a movie trailer in Hong Kong. Just only three days, uh, one million he made. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's out of our expectation and also the promotion team of Emperor. Um, perhaps, uh, do, do we have any questions from the floor uh, for Herman or Erica? Uh, I don't have any questions about the movie because I haven't seen it yet, but uh, I know that you have already a new project with Shop Mentor as a producer, so can you talk about it? Yes. A new project? Oh, yes, uh, the Mock Fight. Mock Fight. The Mock Fight. The forthcoming movies that uh, we are going to uh, write after I uh, go back to Hong Kong, the speculative is called Mock Fathers. The Mock Fathers is a gangster movie. And uh, uh, since it's a gangster movie, it's uh, just like Sarah. Because now uh, I don't reject those uh, uh, CN uh, 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 co production, uh, but I still treasure those uh, films that uh, are not allowed in uh, uh, China, China, the Chinese mainland. So uh, the, this uh, the Bob Brothers uh, probably not uh, will not be released in uh, uh, Chinese media. So uh, in a sense, we can have more freedom. And uh, in another sense, the gangster film is always a tradition of, uh, of the Hong Kong cinema. So uh, mm, I, I treasure that this uh, chance to uh, work with uh, the Chairman Tao and also as well as uh, Anthony Wong. And I think it's uh, after the Inferno Affairs is uh, uh, the first time that uh, Chairman and uh, Anthony uh, play at the same time in a movie. So it's already more than 10 years. Uh, may I share some Hong Kong famous quotation with you? Uh, for the movie Sarah, many people can relate to a famous Hong Kong quotation which is uh, all women are prostitutes. It's said by some uh, High society, they say even my wife is uh, even my wife is a prostitute, but it's a one man prostitute. So uh, they look down upon women. That's why uh, they give me some kind of you know anger or rage to write Sarah. <laughs> say oh we are not okay. <laughs> and for more father, there's another very famous Hong Kong quote. Even the uh, Tri the triad, the gangster, they are patriotic. This is very famous quote in Hong Kong has been repeatedly said. So this is also uh, the seed for the Mock Fathers. Uh, uh, actually, it's before the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, China retained the sovereignty over Hong Kong in 1997, the, the uh, Chinese officials, they said that, uh, yes, the tribes can be patriotic. Yes, it's quite funny. Uh, actually, to uh, Hong Kong locals. Uh, any other questions? Yeah. <coughs> oh, oh. I wanted to ask you, uh, because you, you are interested in social issues uh, in Hong Kong, are you thinking, planning, or would you be interested in making a film that addresses either directly or indir indirectly the, what has happened in Hong Kong in the last few months with the democracy movement, with the umbrella movement? Do you think you might be making a film on what has happened in Hong Kong? Uh, of course this is an issue that uh, I want to put into my movies. But uh, uh, please uh, excuse me that uh, uh, we are under high pressure, especially oh. now. But I, I, I can't talk about it. What I mean is in the movie, we cannot talk about it directly. Actually, we are talking about that. But uh, not in a very strict uh, form of wording or uh, kind of uh, uh, execution. Uh, I think if uh, you, you uh, know about uh, Hong Kong cinema, and then, uh, uh, for example, like Chairman Tao, he's not playing in Chinese mainland. Uh, and also Anthony Wong, uh, and uh, I'm in the borderline, and so... Uh, no, and another, sorry, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the trailer. Why was the trailer so successful? What did it... What was that? I expected. You should uh, see it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, briefly, uh, that's a night by Shani uh, Choi. Uh, when, uh, uh, when his 
so-called long neck daddy. His, his long neck daddy, uh, uh, that's a thing that uh, the long neck daddy uh, uh, tells uh, Charlene that I pay for your rent, your education fee, or something like that. And then Charlene in an uh, anger, and she answered, uh, uh, I, I, you, you didn't give me to it freely. I've been fucked by you. Uh, yeah, that's, I, I like you fuck me. There's something like that. So it becomes kind of a, a, a controversy. Yes. And, and many Hong Kong people under pressure feel, feel that they are shoddy. They have been, you know, exploited by uh, uh, some kind of uh, authority. So many people think that it is like a quotation, or they speak the mind for many Hong Kong people. Uh, any other questions from the floor? Chapman Toe has been produced on several films recently, and you were to be on this, and you just said about Mothfathers. Uh, do you feel, well, what do you feel about him making the transition from being an actor to being a producer? And uh, do you feel this is reflected of the Hong Kong industry? Could we see more older actors uh, becoming uh, different roles, helping the industry to flourish for new names? Uh, uh, this is uh, something that uh, I think uh, I cannot express it here, but uh, there's a uh, chemistry when a producer uh, like Chairman Tho, uh, he's also uh, an actor or a movie star. When uh, this kind of uh, uh, person, when they uh, negotiate with uh, the investor, this kind of chemistry that uh, would be better than us, as we are behind the scene people. So. Uh, there's some benefit. Of, of course, there is some uh, trouble sometimes. But uh, in a sense, uh, if uh, I, uh, not if now uh, it's already kind of reality that I work with, uh, I, I, I collaborate with uh, chairman. And then for some uh, negotiation with the investor, I can do it in the conventional way. But uh, when uh, in the conventional way, it, it still cannot uh, solve the, the, the problems, then chairman. Uh, as a producer, also as a movie star, that's another way, another chemistry to uh, uh, when he's negotiating with the uh, investor. So uh, I think uh, in a broad sense, it, it helps the, uh, the, the the investor to greenlight our project. At this point, I'd like to bring in our guests from the Fresh Wave program. Um, while they're sitting down, uh, I'll just uh, explain that uh, there are, we have with us three directors, uh, plus the uh, uh, program uh, head for the Fresh Wave program. <laughs> so, uh, by way of introduction, I'll uh, start from uh, furthest away from me. We have uh, Kasumi Wong who is with the Hong Kong Arts Development Council. The Hong Kong Arts Development Council runs the Fresh Wave program. Uh, sitting next to her is Anastasia Chan. She's the director of the short film Maryland, and uh, next to her is Lewis Wong. The uh, director of the film iPhone Themes, and next to me is Kai Jia Hao. The director of the film Neighbors. There's actually a fourth film that's also showing, um, but the director was not able to be with us today. Um, I'd like to just um, ask Kazumi to please introdu introduce the. Thank you. I'm, all, I'm, I'm going to, to speak in Cantonese for, for a brief, brief introduction of F3. <coughs> uh, since 2005, Johnny To uh, initiated the idea of the foundation of the Fresh Wave uh, Cinema, right, for to encourage short filmmakers for Hong Kong young filmmakers. 2010年,我們就加入短片戰這個環節,就會播一些香港我們比賽的參賽作品,同人入一些外國的優秀短片,以上文化交流。
So uh, it, it's, it's also part of the effort to uh, increase Hong Kong presence in the International Short Film uh, Award competition and is um, supported by the Hong Kong Development Council and Art, Art Council. Huh? Art Development Council. Art Development Council. 今年是我們的十週年,我們會繼續致力推動香港的短片和香港的電影藝術的發展。So this is the 10th anniversary of this uh, Fresh Wave uh, award uh, competition and uh, it is our our you know cause to uh, promote more short film productions. 我們會繼續致力培養香港同埋海外的觀眾,令到佢哋認識我哋香港年輕導演的作品。So it's, it's of course it's trying to expand the reach to the overseas to showcase Hong Kong talents and it's a development great development for uh, supporting emerging artists. 請大家繼續保持留意我們香港年輕導演的 so I encourage you all follow our development and see more productions from the young filmmakers. Today you are seeing their short films within 30 minutes or so. Uh, I hope in the future you will see the long feature length film in, in local market as well going into the international markets. Thank you. And uh, could we have um, each of the directors please introdu introduce your films and also of course introduce yourselves to uh, give us a brief uh, description of your background um, and then why you chose Fresh Wave and what you wanted to do with your film. So, starting with Anastasia. Um, I will um, present my story and myself in Cantonese because this is Hong Kong movie. So, um, uh, I will first introduce myself. I am called Anastasia Zheng. Um, I am now... My background is not just to film. I have been working in the film industry or film industry. Now I am going to do some freelancing work in the film industry. Um, yeah, my background is in television work, in the uh, movie uh, distribution, uh, promotion area, and I also learned to uh, do other film projects, collaboration. Uh, as a first time filmmaker, we chose uh, Fresh Wave because it's a, it's a very good platform for us. Uh, not only them, they provide financial support, they also give us the freedom of choice of our content for our creative material. So my story uh, is titled Maryland and it's talking about a 29-year-old uh, single woman who is trapped in a very surreal space. In that space, uh, they, they, are, they have to follow a certain rule. The rule is until you got yourself married, you can never leave that uh, environment. So it's sort of trapped. And the story eventually developed how she tried to escape from that trapped uh, uh, space. 我想說一點為什麼我會選這個故事 
So maybe it's not that uh, obvious, or the pressure is not that high, high uh, in the, in the Europe or in, in in the Western society. Uh, but in Asia society, for a girl who is not married before 30 years old, there is a lot of pressure to get married. So also the, the media or, or the, the popular culture also so, so gave people that are not married uh, uh, the word means uh, residue woman. It's like you are left behind, you are, you are, you know, wasted, you know. <laughs> 所以而在很多意地这个禁腐面的窗 so somehow this very derogative or negative term of describing single women not married uh, before 30 somehow <coughs> Created follower and culture, and whenever anybody project anything in the internet or in a film or any kind of material, they become very popular. Everybody following it is a very big follower on it. So because of this uh, phenomena, I I I try to reverse the perspective and try to speak something on behalf of those women and using that angle, and that's the property, the source of the. the uh, creative source of my material this film. Um, well, the way the format I presented this is my approach is I make it more like a surreal, more like a, a scientific time of uh, an abstract land in it. Uh, so you are not really seeing that portrait in a reality environment. It's more uh, using that to uh, express the inner world or the emotional world of this protagonist. Okay, guys. Yeah, thank you. Uh, uh, so I was a graduate of the Film Academy in, from Hong Kong. Uh, my name is Louis Wong, yes. And uh, uh, I have started off also uh, interning or working a, in the TV uh, stations, and now I'm working for a workshop type of an environment. And with my friends, we started to build up some independent films and projects. And um, that's my background. Come 這個房間裡面我的作品和我在比賽上面的作品也有不同 
Well, the fresh way, as as uh, Nancy here explained, it was a good platform for for us to submit our words, not not just for the money and the structure or the freedom or the content. It's because they also come with mentor system. The mentor is so good to help us to develop our project. Uh, they criticize. They gave us helpful and constructive comments to help us to develop the project. The the the. Uh, the film being shown here is already an another updated version from the one that was submitted for the competition. Because in between, our mentor actually give us more more advices how to tweak the fine tune the project, and we really learn a lot through that practical experience working side by side with the benefits of our mentor. Zigan well, uh, the story uh, that I've chosen uh, is about an iPhone thief. You know, uh, uh, anyway, the story started off is because is uh, we we friends, my buddy friend, and then we talk about it, something that actually happened. We heard about this, and so the more I think about this story, and I want to actually reflect some of the uh, mentality or the uh, thinking of. The 因為這個故事是我朋友他們好像沒有他們的方向也找不到正確的職業然後他們的生活裡面正在找到他們的生活所有的問題 as I said, the story came from a friend that we talked about it and also it's a friend, it probably happened about 10 years ago uh, at that time people stealing iPhones and then it further evolved into smuggling iPhone uh, from the character portrayed in the film and he actually had to smuggle the phone back to China to expand from just just uh, being a, a burglar so um, it, it, I hope the film will, will, will uh, uh, explain the story of how some of the uh, young people that were jobless, they have no income, they have no source of support, and they don't know what to do. And the only way they were just trying is to another find a way of survival. And what's the quickest way to get some money to uh, solve some of their life predicaments? Thank you. Uh, so unlike to my uh, uh, colleagues here, I, I am I am still a student at the APA uh, Academy. 先上次我覺得除了他們說了很多 so in addition to what was already explained why Fresh Wave is very helpful to us is all these short films are the uh, in the competition after being selected, uh, they actually be uh, distributed and released in the theater for public viewings. So that's another thing. Uh, so, but 
Further than that, they go beyond Hong Kong territory and, and travel and touring to the international uh, platform to showcase the films uh, through the, uh, to the international <coughs> audience. So this is a extra, extra important to young filmmakers who are practically unknown to the world to get this kind of exposure. And the story of my film is called Neighbors, and it's talking about a mainland student coming, uh, went to Hong Kong to study, and it, the story happened only after three days of her arrival, in, and she stayed in an apartment by herself, and then there was a murder case that happened right outside of the door. 我的故事其實想說的除了是講孤獨感之外 so not only, not only expressing the loneliness of this character in, the, in my film, I also want to uh, uh, express uh, some people how they feel in a strange land, all by themselves, in a foreign land, they don't know anybody. And when they are all trapped alone by themselves in a strange environment, uh, what could they uh, react or, or uh, when they are really uh, feeling totally insecure and the paranoid, and what could happen to any person? Uh,在此之外,我总想讲,其实,在国环境,因为我想讲,因为中国矛盾的关系,因为当个主角是有道理的时候,可以论居全部都是香港人。因為在現在香港和中國是矛盾 Another aspect I want to express through the film is to the neighbors is uh, some of the um, uh, cultural uh, clashes uh, now currently exist uh, between Hong Kong uh, local people and to the uh, new immigrants from the mainland that becomes there. So there are not only the language barrier, not, not only because of their cultural upbringing difference, they, they, they actually are two, two different type of people, uh, even though they are all Chinese in a sense, right? Uh, so, uh, they, so this is what I try to express because there, there are issues that uh, is a problem, it's a social problem that existing in between Hong Kong people and mainland people, how they live in har harmony in Hong Kong. Thank you. Lewis brought up a, a, a key point about the Fresh Wave program. He brought up the mentors. Uh, there's everyone that makes a film within the Fresh Wave program gets funding to make the film, and they also get a mentor. And the mentors come from the film industry. It, in effect, it ties all of these productions to established filmmakers that people can gain feedback. And one of those mentors is Herman. Um, he has been working with Freshwave for several years. You were a mentor for three eight films? Eight years. Eight years. Yes. And um, would you like, I believe you're a mentor for three films this year. This, uh, uh, actually, uh, every year it's three to four films, yes. Well, what is it about Freshwave that uh, makes you, as a filmmaker, want to take the time to help out as a mentor? It's, uh, uh, Firstly, uh, since I'm getting old, <laughs> I think uh, uh, it would be good for me to uh, communicate or get along with the young people more. Because uh, I think uh, for cinema, it should be uh, 
target to a broad public. Uh, so it's kind of compensation to my age to be a vendor of the French wave. Um, could you talk about how you work as a mentor? What, what, what does the work involve for you? Uh, uh, actually, during uh, the process, I have uh, several meetings. Uh, usually, it's three to four meetings. So, uh, uh, honestly, I don't think we can, uh, not only me, and also as well as other mentors, we cannot uh, really go into uh, the, uh, the, the participants' uh, project. But uh, for me, I share uh, with them my experience and then uh, try to solve their problems. So uh, it must be, uh, 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 I think uh, uh, the outcome will be better if the participant, participants, they can be very initiative to talk about uh, uh, their problems or uh, what uh, they are not familiar with or uh, they, uh, about uh, the actual filming. And, uh, but uh, to me now, uh, the, the young participants is quite subjective nowadays. So uh, script-wise, I don't think I can contribute uh, uh, a lot. But uh, for production-wise, I, I think I uh, help them uh, in, a, in, in quite a good way, as long as uh, I uh, heard from their feedback. Um, so with that, um, our time is up for the seminar. I'd like to thank all of our guests for being with us today. Thank you.